Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled, Who is Babylon? Part 3. Now, on the screen you have seven continents map with five oceans and they include North America, South America, Antarctica, Australia, Africa, Europe, Asia. All right. Now, the origin of continent goes back to a continuous land or a land contained. Now, what makes a land continuous or a land contained is the land mass that it sits on. Okay? Also, what separates continents from one another is the body of waters. Okay? So actually, Europe and Asia is the same land mass and they teach that in other countries as well that's why you have the term Eurasia okay now let's focus on the term intercontinental and my source is dictionary.com and it states between or among continents involving two or more continents definition two traveling or capable of traveling between continents so if you left North America on a flight and flew to South America then that would make that flight an intercontinental flight alright and if you had missiles leaving Eurasia and coming towards North America then those missiles would be classified as intercontinental ballistic missiles alright now let's locate Russia on the world map and my source is sporacle.com and this Blog, blog is entitled which continent is Russia part of Europe or Asia dated for October 31st 2017 is Russia part of Europe or Asia the answer to whether Russia is officially a part of Europe or a part of Asia is one of those annoying parts of general knowledge that can drive some people crazy. People seem to have different opinions on the nature of Russia as a location and how it's actually classified on the global map. At Sporkle, we generally say that Russia is a part of both Asia and Europe, not just because we're trying to cut down on the number of trivia based brawls that break up, it's like that break out over over geography questions, but because that answer is actually rooted in fact. Russia is a natural bridge between both Western and Eastern heritage. 77% in Asia, the rest in Europe. According to geographical experts, maps, and professionals in the world of politics, about 77% of Russia is located within the borders of Asia. Yet, somewhat bizarrely, more Russians live in the European part of the country than the Asian part. It's worth noting that Russia has never actually decreed itself as being an Asian or European country. Most people just assume that it's in Europe even though more than three quarters of the landmass rests in Asia. 
So how do we define which part is which? The simple answer is that ge geographically the Ural Mountains are used to mark the border between Asia and Europe. Anything that creeps over the western border of the Urals in Europe while everything left over on the eastern side is in Asia. Seems simple enough, doesn't it? Okay. So, if you look at Russia on the map, on the world map, this is Russia. Okay. And under here would be Asia. And on the other side of Russia would be Europe. Okay. All right. So and this is a better view right here. This will be Europe. As you can see, it's on the same landmass as the rest of Europe. Okay. Now, where is the Vatican located? All right. So the Vatican is also located in Europe and it's actually in Italy, all right? So if we go back to the first map, then Russia is here and the Vatican is right here, somewhere in this area, okay? Now, let's go to the scripture and this is, um. Second Ezra 16 and 13 and it states for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world all right so if you are comparing the scripture within the spirit to this world map then it only makes sense that this would be from an end of the world to another end of the world okay it only makes sense now remember Russia is right here okay and it also exceeds over in this area to along up in here as well alright so if this is a part of Russia and if Russia shot a missile from this area or as well as this area because it's one landmass okay to the Vatican which would be along up in here then that scripture doesn't really apply because it's not going from an end of the world to another end of the world it's the same landmass okay it's the same landmass. All right. Let's get a better look of that map. All right. So if Russia projected missiles, and this is the um, part of Russia that exceeds in in Europe, missiles will be shot from here to right there. Now, what the scripture states. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay? So it only makes sense that the daughter of Babylon would be America. All right? Because remember, you have the term Eurasia, which means it's a continent. And what's a continent? A continuous land, a land that's contained by its land mass. All right. So from one end of the world to another end of the world would be an intercontinental missile. All right. Okay. So it doesn't make sense that this scripture applies to the Vatican because this would not be considered as one end of the world to another end of the world because remember Russia is right here and exceeds in Europe as well it's the same landmass okay 
one more point and this is Psalms 137 and 8 and it states O daughter of Babylon who art to be destroyed happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us now let's prove in the spirit that this is talking about America when you focus on the term daughter in the Hebrew in Strong's H 13 and 23 pronounced as Bath Bath as personification also a description of character so when you say the daughter of Babylon you're saying that America has a description of characters such as Babylon alright but let's prove that point let's define personification and my source is dictionary.com and it states the person or thing embodying a quality or the like and embodiment or incarnation so basically you're saying that America is the incarnation of its mother Babylon that's all you're saying so you really can't get around it alright hope you're edified Shalom